Okay, let's be real. You've probably spent more time writing code, designing, reading, taking courses, being watching tech tutorials than you like to admit. So this is a quick question. Where was the last time you actually took a step back to really think about all of the activities and where they are taking you to? When was the last time? Hmm? <laughs> okay, you've just tuned into what I would like to call a tech reality check. Nope, this is not about the latest gadget. This is not about the latest language or whatever. Nope, we are going way deeper than that in this video. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Praise Emmanuel and in this video, we are not doing the regular. We are going to be talking about five things or five areas that you need to pay attention to to actually grow in your tech career in 2024. Now, I'm not talking about adding people on LinkedIn. I'm not talking about just attending events, but actually building solid relationships actually building solid connections and you honestly never know where those things or where those people will take you to in your tech career no i'm not talking about going about with the mindset of what can you actually get from people that is not what i'm saying but i'm saying that you actually have to pay attention to your network you have to you, you need to intentionally try to build your network so it's not just about putting your name out there it's actually about you building a web of net uh, of connection and you don't necessarily know where your next opportunity is going to come in from there okay so let me share a little story how did i get my first full-time job in tech it was through a recommendation so um someone was looking for a there was an opening and then someone in the community that i was in like an online community for that matter recommended me i took um i did all that was i was supposed to do and i landed the job now that would not have been possible if i was not in that community it would not have been possible if i was in that community and unknown so you need to actually um pay attention to that area and actually build on it so how do you actually make this work for you first be very active in communities so whether it's an online community whether it's a physical community don't just be a number don't just be an onlooker actually be there share your own experiences um help other people participate in conversations be active make sure that you are not just a number but you are actually one of the people that if they want to mention the people that are in that community your name will also be mentioned don't don't play seriously don't play with this don't just sit down in communities this year actually be active be active hmm. now there's the reward side of it um attend industry events attend workshops attend meetups anything that's not anything now but you no know, you have, but just show up show up in those events show up in those physical events and actually interact with people don't just attend events and sit down don't just attend events and sit down and you're just looking at everybody no actually walk up to one or two people talk to people share your experiences introduce yourself what you do and listen to other people also don't just go and talk about yourself throughout listen to what other people are saying and actually like try to follow up on those relationships afterwards like after the event is over actually try to pull up on those relationships it's actually very important please hey <laughs> you don't know seriously you don't know the people that you meet there are people that may recommend you there are people that you may collaborate with people that you will work with in the future so don't just go to events and just look actually participate actively yes answer questions play games be visible introduce yourself talk to people that is how you actually do your network that is how you actually interact with people that is how you actually active in communities number two is focus on your soft skills yes i said it i said it your soft skills it is very easy to get carried away with the hard skills and skills like coding skills like design all of those other skills are your hard skills and it's very easy for you to get carried away and you totally forget about the importance of your soft skills hmm. the hard skills are the technical abilities they are the stuff that actually get things done but 
on the other hand is your soft skills now there are the things that actually um involve your human touch so how you communicate with people how you solve problems how you work with your team members how you think how you behave all of those things are part of your soft skills so don't just focus on your hard skills and totally forget about your soft skills so imagine that you've built a sophisticated piece of software but you're not able to properly talk about it to your team members or even your clients it's disjointed it is not enough that is where communication comes into play or maybe you're working in a team and you don't know how to work with other people you don't know how to interact you don't know how to communicate with other people now i hear people say things like oh um i like to work alone it's good it's fine you can work alone but ensure that you know when to switch ensure you know when to switch when you have to work with people ensure you actually know how to work with them because that is not an excuse if you want to actually go um you want to actually really grow in your career you want to actually excel then you would have to work with people you will not work alone so be ready to learn be ready to actually adapt yes adaptability is another thing when you join a new team or when you're working on a new project or when you meet a challenge that you're not used to you need to know how to adapt how to actually adapt and contribute effectively regardless of how the situation might be regardless of how other people are behaving now there's something i like to tell myself um you can control how you behave you can control how you react but you cannot really control how other people behave or react so focus on what you can do focus on the parts that you can play and just do your own do your part ensure that you work on yourself so how do you beef up these skills intentionally learn about them um be an active listener engage with other people ask questions ask how you can be um ask how you can actually be a better person how you can actually be a team player ask how you can help how you can contribute don't just skip mute but actually ask and listen to other people as they talk as well make sure you listen because it's going to help you know where to do better and where to adjust in the future now this is a very good analogy in a case where there are numerous people with the same skills that you have like they know all the languages that you know they know how to use the same tools that you know how to use the thing that actually makes you stand out are your soft skills so don't take them for granted this year don't play with your soft skills this year number three is pay attention to emerging technologies now um, when i mean emerging technologies i'm talking about things like ai um blockchain web3 data science all of those things now these are not just buzzwords these are like technologies that are actually changing how we live how we interact with people they are actively changing the world so um don't just be an onlooker don't just hear about them actually go sit down and research about them learn about them what are they actually doing what do they how do they actually change the way things are being done currently how do they affect your industry how do they affect the world at large they are very very important you need to like pay attention to those technologies if not you just wake up and discover that you have been left behind and you don't want that so now you think that oh these technologies are coming to steal my jobs but i think that is not like the right mindset you cannot really control that what you can do is to um harness these technologies think about how can i actually bring these technologies into what i do to make me better how can i use tools like ai to make my work faster to make my work easier to make my work more um excellent i think that is what you should be focusing on rather than being afraid of what these technologies will do rather think about how are they being utilized how can you actually use them as a person as an individual or as a group of people so don't just be an onlooker don't just be lost don't just be unaware of what is happening actually follow trend ensure that you are up to date with what is going on in the world it's going to be it's going to save you from a lot of confusion in the future because you already know where it is going you, you already saw it coming it helps you to prepare in case your role is actually going to be non-relevant or not as relevant as it is currently you know and you prepare and don't just be aware um ensure that you actually pay attention to what those technologies are actually doing what problems are they actually solving and think of how you can actually apply them in your personal life think about how you can apply them in your career think about how you can apply um, apply them in your day-to-day -day activities how you can actually use them to solve real problems for example um let's say there is blockchain and then you are working in the finance you're thinking about how can i actually apply the blockchain into the finance industry or how can i apply ai 
into the healthcare industry. Don't just look at these technologies and be scared of them. <laughs> You're not supposed to be afraid of them. You should think about how can you actually maximize these technologies that are available to you to use. So um, I think, yeah, that, that is that on that. <laughs> Okay, so number four, no, number four <laughs> is to pay attention to um, building personal projects. Now, this is specifically for people that are just starting out. Um, why looking for the next big thing? Why looking for the next job? Why looking for the next gig that will make you million dollars? I think you should actually focus on building. Um, your portfolio focus on building projects that showcase what you know it is not enough for you to say that you know this you know that you know how to do all of these things people don't really care about what you see they want to see what you can do they want to see what you have done that is why when you go to an interview the questions they are asking is what have you worked on in the past they want to know what you have done so if you don't have so much experience you can actually use this to boost your portfolio you can actually use this to boost your um credibility so by showing what you have done in the past people now believe that oh you, you can actually do this thing so what is my advice start small think of a project um aside those projects that are already online that you can actually build alone think of something yourself and then start building it little by little think of the components that you need to make it together think about all the things you need to make it actually work and start building it it's going to show your credibility it's going to show your creativity it's going to show your problem solving skills so don't just wait actually build project build projects that show what you can do i mean i mean project for other people that are not um like developers you should have a body of work that shows what you have done you cannot say you are a writer and if they ask you what have you written you don't have anything to show for it actually have a body of work that actually shows your experience so this year please build projects build your portfolio build it so that when you're asked when those big opportunity comes you have what to prove yourself you have what to show that oh i actually know this thing so i think this is something that we should focus on this year your time and your attention means the whole world to me and i'm very grateful i don't take it for granted so thank you so much for sticking till this point now this is the final step brag about yourself what did i say brag about it what did, what did i say brag about yourself now when i mean brag I am not saying that you should just be boastful. I'm not saying you should just be talking about your achievements or trying to put um, pepper into other people's eye. You're just trying to show off. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you clearly communicating your expertise, clearly communicating your experience, your portfolio, what you can do, your skills, talking about it so that people actually know that you are capable of doing these things. So now, before you say that this is not my style, hear me out. Now, uh, in the tech industry and honestly, in any career path at all, knowing how to sell yourself is actually very crucial. So it is not enough for you to know other people have to know that you know so that they can actually bring you the skills they can actually bring you the jobs rather that you need so it is not enough for you to be skilled it's not enough for you to know how to do something people have to know that you know how to do that thing so it is actually very important it is not enough for you to be excellent at something people need to know that you are actually excellent at that thing and how do they know if you're not telling them how are they aware if you're not showing that to them how would they know? How would they know? <laughs> so you need to actually pay attention to that. Talk about what you do. Please, please talk about what you do. So whether it is on social media, whether it is in, in a physical event, whether it's in a, a job interview, please be confident about showcasing your abilities. You are your number one advocate. Nobody can advocate for you more than you can advocate for yourself. So you need to actually own it, especially if you know that you are actually able to do this thing. Then own it. Be confident about it. Please. <laughs> Please be confident about it. So think about all of those times that you're scrolling social media and you see some people that are putting out their work and you actually admire their work and you're saying, oh, this person, uh, this person is so cool and all of that. You know, that could be you, right? That could be you. But you need to actually share your story. You need to actually let people know what you're doing for them to actually be inspired by your work, for them to actually see the good, the goodness that you have or the good things that you can do. So take note of that, please. 
So how do you start? Start by updating your LinkedIn profile. Start by um sharing your experiences on your social media. Start by talking about the challenges that you face and how you have overcome them. Talk about what you're learning. Talk about what you would want to learn. Just be visible. Don't be hidden this year. Please. Remember, if it is actually true, then it is not bragging. You are just stating facts. So if the things you are actually talking about are true if you're not making them up if you're not lying then it is not bragging you're just stating the obvious you're just stating the facts so think about it like that always remember that best known will always be best best known in any field at all we will always be best so it's not enough to just be best actually be the best known that is how you actually get the opportunities when people want to recommend um, someone for something the people that they remember are the people that have been visible, the people that they can actually they, they can actually vouch for because they have seen their consistency. So you want to be that person. It is not enough for your family members and your friends to know what you're doing. It is not enough. Um, everybody should know. Honestly, the social media makes the world a connected village. So you can actually be making a post and someone in China can be seeing your post. Someone in another part of the world can be seeing your post. So th that is your chance to actually sell yourself. That is your chance to actually sell your abilities. That is your chance to actually sell what you can do. It, it gives you the opportunity to show what you bring to the table. So what are you bringing to the table? We've talked about a couple of cool things today, but you know, the magic doesn't happen immediately. The magic actually happens when you actually put in practice all the things that you've heard today. So don't just be a listener, also be a doer, please. Don't just listen. Actually put these things into practice this year and you'll come back and thank me later. Um, yes. Feel free to share the other tips that you know, other things that you think are going to be useful to me or to other people. Feel free to share your own tips, the things you think people need to pay attention to this new year. In the comment section, do well to like this video so that every other person would um, get recommended this video. So feel free to like share this video to as many people as you can. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on all the goodness that will be happening here. And yeah, um, I'm sure you join my newsletter as well because a lot of amazing stuff will be dropping there. The link is going to be in the description. Um, follow me on social media as well. And yeah, with that said, see you in the next video. Bye!